Right, so I am going to start off by testing the sensory function of the olfactory nerve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to present a scent to you, and I'm going to have you close each nostril just one at a time, and then you're going to tell me what you think the smell is. So and I'll have you close your eyes as okay. well. Side. That smells like mint. Yes. All right. We're going to do one more. Have you close your eyes? And next. No coffee. Perfect. All right. So next, I'm going to be testing the sensory function of the trigeminal nerve. So I'm going to start by lightly touching your face with this cotton swab, and I'm going to test it in three areas, your ophthalmic, your maxillary, and your mandibular. Mm -hmm. So I'll have you take off your glasses, and then just say that you feel it, or if you don't. Yes. 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 Perfect. And now I'm going to test, um, I'm going to do the same exact thing, but with a sharp prick. So again, just tell me if you feel that or not. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Perfect. All right. And now we are going to test your reflex with your eye, and I'm going to have you look this way at the whiteboard, and I'm going to touch your eye just slightly with this cotton swab. Okay. Perfect. And now I'm going to look at the motor function of the trigeminal nerve. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to clench your teeth, and I'm going to be touching your hands. So I'll be having you clench your teeth, and I'm going to be feeling the um, <clears throat> mass eater muscles and also your temporal muscles. Okay. And then, um, so I'll just have you clench. Okay, clench again. Okay, perfect. And now I'm going to have you have your mouth to be closed. I'm going to put my hand underneath your mouth and you're going to try to open your jaw against the resistance of my hand. Perfect. Lastly, we are going to do <laughs> the jaw reflex, which I know this is kind of intimidating to have a hammer, but um, I'm going to rest my hand on your chin, and I'm just going to feel, um, just feel a reflex of your jaw. Okay. So, perfect. That hurt? No. <laughs> okay, good. Good. All right. <clears throat> okay, so... Now I'm, we're going to be testing the motor function of the facial nerve. First I'm going to inspect your face for any asymmetry or any involuntary movements. Okay, looks good. I'm going to have you raise your eyebrows and then furrow your eyebrows. And then can you frown? And now can you smile with your teeth showing? Good. Uh, and then puff your cheeks out for me. Good, it's strong. Uh, and then now we're going to be testing the sensory portion of the facial nerve. So in this test, the anterior two-thirds of your tongue. I'm going to have you stick your tongue out and leave it out. And then tell me what you think it was. Salt. Okay, good. And now I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Next, we're going to be testing the sensory portion of your glossopharyngeal nerve um, by doing the, or sorry, the motor function of your glossopharyngeal nerve by testing your gag reflex. Great. So ready for that? Okay, can you open up? Okay, good. <laughs> uh, next, we're going to be testing the sensory portion of your glossopharyngeal nerve. Um, again, 
testing the taste and sensation um, of the back part of your tongue, so the end of the posterior one-third of your tongue, the posterior one-third of your tongue. And leave it out. Salt on both sides. Okay. And again, sugar. Okay, <laughs> good. All right, so next we're going to be testing the motor portion of the, of the motor function of the vagus nerve. Um, I'll be looking at your, uh, the back of your throat at your uvula <coughs> and soft palate um, to see if there's any deviations in the rise, um, which would indicate a dysfunction of the pharyngeal branch. So, open up and see all. Good. Okay. Looks good. And then we would note any hoarseness uh, or absence of voice. Um, if that were to be present, then um, it would indicate a dysfunction of the recurrent uh, branch uh, of the vagus nerve. So the next we're going to test, I'm going to have you swallow, still testing the vagus nerve. And that would test um, and if there were any coughing from that. Okay. And you did fine there. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to test the motor function of the hypoglossal nerve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you in just a second stick out your tongue. And what I'm going to look for is any fasciculations, atrophy, or any deviation of your tongue that would note that would tell me whether or not there was any issues with that nerve. So, I'll just have you stick your tongue out for me. All right, looks good. And I'm gonna have you do is, I'm gonna have you move your tongue back and forth and just see if there's any restrictive movement. Perfect. All right, last, um, I'm going to test the motor function of the accessory nerve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you turn your head and I'm going to put my hand against your face and have you push your face back to looking at me. So you're going to feel the resistance of my hand. Okay. So I'll have you face this way. Perfect. Okay. Next, I'm going to push on your forehead and you're just going to resist me pushing your head back. And then lastly, I'm going to have you shrug your shoulders in just a second, but before that I'll, I'll come behind you. And I'm going to have you shrug your shoulders and then I'm going to push down and note any resistance. So push. Perfect. Alright, so that's it. <laughs>